Hey, my name is Jeremy Ten and I'm 32 years old. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm a figure skater slash realtor. I've got a busy day ahead of me, but before we get started, I gotta go through my routine. So let me show you how I do that. All right, before I start my day, I gotta go through my hair routine. So let me show you how I do that. I like to work with wet or damp hair, so I'm gonna wet my hair first and get it damp. All right, let's get started. All right, now that my hair is nice and wet, I wanna get it damp, so the next step is to towel dry my hair. So here's a little pro tip for you guys. It's best to kind of dab and scrunt rather than to rub, just it reduces friction, which is healthier for your hair and healthier for your scalp. All right, now that my hair is nice and damp, I'm gonna take the original styling Meraki pre-styler. I'm gonna take a little pea-sized amount and rub it into my hands, and then I'm gonna work it into my hair. And make sure it gets distributed evenly. What I love about this product is it has heat protecting qualities and also adds a little bit of lift and volume if that's what you're going for. All right, now that that's throughout my hair, I'm gonna take my blow dryer and my rounded brush and get dry. All right, now that hair, my hair is nice and dry, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my little mini curler just to set it in place and get a little bit more shape and it just adds that control because I have really coarse Asian thick hair and I just find going in with the curler just helps give me more control over what I want. Just working it through the back, up and back, just getting that shape. All right, now that I pretty much have the shape that I want, I'm gonna go in with the post-styling Fit Sample Pomade. Take, again, a little pea-sized amount and rub it into my hands. And then I'm gonna go in, and another little pro tip, just make sure that you really work it into the roots. I got this advice from a friend that's a hairstylist, and a lot of people just forget to do that. It really gives it that foundation that you need to give it that shape that you want and really holds it in place. Let's just take a little bit more. Just make sure you get those little flyaways. All right, and that's pretty much it. So this is my take on a kind of modern comb over with a little bit of volume, so that's it. Uh, why don't we start by uh, getting you to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, my name is Jeremy Ten. I'm 32 years old, born and raised in Vancouver, BC, and I grew up as a figure skater competitively for Canada, and now I'm a realtor. So I started skating when I was nine years old. It was like I was the youngest of the family, so I have an older brother who's five years old, and I wanted to be like him, just like him. So he went into hockey, and I followed him onto the ice. I tried out on hockey. Hated it, got body checked for the first time. That was enough for me. Uh, no more physical contact sports. And then went into figure skating because my dad noticed that I loved watching it. After the hockey practice, I would stay behind and just like adamantly just be there at the boards watching. And then he watched the 98 Olympics, saw figure skating and said, you know what, he loves being on the ice. Maybe that's something we should try out. And then I remember winning my first medal and it was just kind of, I was hooked. I just loved that feeling of accomplishment and working hard to accomplish something. So yeah, and it just kind of took off from there. I won my first national championships in junior in 2006, and then it just kind of really took off from there. I thought that was the first time winning my first title that I was like, wow, I think I can actually do something in this sport. And um, I won three national medals at the senior level, went to two world championships representing Canada, which was such a huge honor, and just missed the Olympics, but uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was such an amazing experience. And then I toured professionally with Cirque du Soleil for a year, as well as Royal Grooming Cruise Lines. And then now I'm a realtor. And I've always wanted to be a realtor. I remember being a little kid and just being super inquisitive about other people's homes and how they were designed and laid out and kind of how they decorated their place. And that kind of was just something that was always in the back of my head. And when it was time to kind of 
figure out what I wanted to do because obviously with the pandemic, the whole entertainment industry shut down. I just decided now was the perfect time and I really just went for it, bit the bullet and here we are. Skating is such a huge love and passion of mine and it always will be. It's kind of like that friend that's never gonna let me down because it's always gonna be there. Like when I'm on the ice and I'm just by myself feeling kind of that glide and the, the air and the, the wind flowing through my hair, it's just like the feeling of home and a feeling of trust. And um, I'm gonna be like that like old Asian guy like 80 years old, just like with my walker, kind of just trying to get on the ice. And like, I think I'm always gonna, going to be skating throughout my whole life. What people don't see behind the scenes and they only see on TV or in performances is that we fall like a thousand times before we finally nail it. And then after through like lots of rehearsal and practice and we finally master a skill. But before that, there's a lot of trial and error, um, a lot of pain, a lot of injuries. And I think that's really taught me to just have really tough skin and be really tough, and which is really gonna bode well for me as a realtor. But in everyday life, I think what really, really motivates me and keeps me going is just the, and this is gonna sound cheesy, but to be a good person at the end of the day and to kind of pay it forward and to be kind to each other. Um, I was really fortunate growing up. I had a really supportive foundation in terms of a support system in my friends and my family and I want to be out there kind of just being the type of person that they would want me to be. Um, and that's how I'm going to pay it forward to the community. There are 24 hours in a day, which translates to 1,440 minutes, which is 86,400 seconds in one day. That time doesn't carry over. And so my advice to you is just to go for it. Follow your dreams with as much passion and gusto and confidence as you can and don't waste an, like don't waste the opportunity because you only get one shot so my advice is to go for it like anybody growing up i had the worst teenage years like super awkward and i think in grade 5 is when i first started caring about hair i think it was like my obsession with wanting to be a backstreet boy and i <laughs> Just remember, I had the kind of like a bowl cut that would part in the middle to kind of be like Nick Carter. And that's kind of when it took off. And then I went through a bunch of just terrible hair choices. I think the next phase after that was like a fringe that kind of went, so kind of emo. And so I would do this a lot. And I'm surprised I don't have arth uh, osteoporosis in my uh, neck. But, uh, <laughs> and then I think it transferred into like fringe with like spiked in the back. Like it was a mess. And then, now we're here with kind of this like more modern take on a comb over. And I think I got here just by kind of, like I said, looking on Instagram and kind of seeing what I liked and then uh, seeing also people that looked like me and kind of what they were working with. Um, that was kind of my inspiration into how I got to this. As a realtor, my goal would be to make medallion and that's pretty much top, top 10% in the greater Vancouver area. And obviously with that, just keep moving forward in my career. My ultimate goal is to be able just to take care of my friends and family. Like that's, I think, the number one thing that keeps me going. My parents especially, they sacrificed so much by moving here from Brunei like 30 some odd years ago to give my brother and I a better life. And figure skating is not a cheap sport. It's probably one of the most expensive sports. Like easily you're putting down, like especially when you get to the mo more competitive levels, you're putting down like tens of thousands of dollars each year just to pay the bills, the coaching fees and everything. And my parents did that for many years, especially the early part of my career when I didn't have funding from the government or the provincial organization. Um, and they did that for many years with no complaints. And they started, when they came here, they had really nothing. So be able to provide for my family um, the way that they did and to be able to give, have the opportunity to give back to them. That's like my number one thing that keeps me going. And then obviously, yeah, like I said, to take care of my friends who have been there for me um, from the beginning and have always cheered me on, whether it's on the ice or in this new chapter of being a, a realtor, um, I would love just to be able to take care of everyone. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks for following me on my journey and seeing how I get ready for the day. But I've got some appointments that I got to get to. So if you want to keep up with my journey, my Instagram is at JeremyJ10, and I hope to see you around. Thanks.
What is your motivation and inspiration? Now I'm gonna like hand this camera and be like, money. <laughs> <laughs> that would, dude, that's gonna, gonna be a good ending thing. That's how.